Hey, this is Jamal and today I'm going to show you one way to make fur in XGen for Maya. This tutorial is especially for Renderman, but most of the parts will work with other render engines too. First I have to say working with XGen is very hard, because there are so many bugs and problems. I know how to provide 99% of these bugs, but only in Maya 2020. Maya 2022 became especially for macOS so many new bugs I cannot handle with yet. So don't wonder that I'm using an older version of Maya. If you want to try what I'm doing here, you can download this model with the link in the description. I made this model in less than five minutes, so please don't judge me because of its bad and very terrible topology. At the beginning I recommend to make a new project so Action has less problems to find your file. Also I recommend to delete the history of this mesh. First select your mesh and you can also select just polygons if you want to. And after that we can create a new description. Rename the description and also the collection. Then select groomable splines randomly across the surface and using grooming tool. We're going to make two different descriptions or to say it in other words, two layers of fur. We first start with the undercoat. To start with that you have to go to the preview output tab. Down here you can select the render engine, for me it is Renderman. This step is not important in Maya 2022. But what is very important is to save frequently because Extran is very fragile, so please save. Down in the grooming tab you can increase the density of your previewed fur. I recommend to choose the interpolate sampling method. If not your working process will get lost if you change the density afterwards, but that won't happen if you choose interpolate. But let's start to post the fur. Most of the brushes are not that necessary for beginners. The most important ones are the post brush and the elevate brush. I try to post the fur in those directions. It's very important to have a good hair flow. The best way to find out in which way you need to post your fur is to search in the internet for real animals and in which direction their fur goes. One big problem with posing an action is that some parts of the fur will be posed under the surface. So you can see here how it looks like when that happens. You can easily bring the hair back to the surface with the elevating tool. It may seem a bit ridiculous, but I mostly first smooth the parts of the fur before I put some noise above it. That looks quite good to me, so let's change the shape of the hair. Now the tips are thinner than the roots. And as I said, this is going to be the undercoat of the fur, so it needs to be very short. Go to reset slider and choose your length. I want to have more fur, so I increase the density to 1000 and I think I have to increase the number of taper. This is another way to make the tips thinner. Now we're coming to the place where the magic happens. Modifiers. First we create a noise modifier. I want to change the preserve length to 90. That means that 90% of the fur length is not being affected from the noise. And now we add a cut modifier. This randomizes the length a bit and it is a very cool way to make your fur look fluffier. That's quite good, but uh, let's increase the density again. I'm sorry for jumping backwards and forwards to each setting, but there is no recept for working with XGen. It's all about trying out what looks better than the other setting. But that's everything I wanted, so we can start to make the main fur. To do that we need to select our mesh, go to description, create description and give it a name. This time I want the width to be randomized. It does not work with Maya 2020 because of a bug. 
If you want to provide this issue, you can go to the video description down below and download the file called with randomized. Go to load expression, select it, and voila, you have a randomized width between 0 0.006 and 0 0.015. That seems to be a bit thin, so I slightly increase the numbers. Now I also change the shape of the hair and add some taper. Yeah, and same thing again, posing, elevating, smoothing and adding some noise, especially on its belly. Maybe we need to increase width and length again a bit. And then it comes to the best point of making fur the clump modifier. To make it work we need to set up a map with I think a density of 8, click generate and save and now we are actually very close to feathers. But as you can see there is still a hole, we can fix that while using the elevating brush. But let's come back to the clump modifier. I want to decrease the effect of the modifier, I just want to have 40% of strength. I think the clumps need to be a bit thicker on the base and on the tips. They also need to have a bit more volume and now I add a bit noise. 30% noise especially at the end of the tips. I want every part of the clumps to be flattened on the mesh and you can also do this with a negative value by using offset. The next step is to create a new clump system. I want to have clumps within the clumps. For that we need to choose a much higher density and make sure you are not using control maps. It's easier to handle for your computer. Sometimes you will get an error called searing pixel. To solve that you'll have to increase the number of texels per unit amount or decrease the density. Great! Same thing as before, another clump shape at 30% of noise to the tips and making everything a bit flatter. The next modifier we add is a noise modifier with 60% effect with a frequency of 4 and 90% of the length is not being affected. And again a new noise modifier. If we type in a number at this masked tab, for example 0.4, 40% of the effect will be assigned on the whole fur. If we just want to affect a random amount of hairs, you need a new expression. You can copy it or download it with the link in the description down below. The file is called Person Stray. I want 2% of the hair to be longer and noisier than the other ones. To achieve this go down to magnitude and increase the number. And as always there is a cut modifier in the end with a random cut between 0 and 50% to make the fur look softer and fluffier. The last thing we need to do is to add a pixel motion hair shader if you're using Renderman. The same thing with our other description. And I think in Maya 22 you need to go to the outliner and select our descriptions and then assign a pixel Martian hair shader. And that looks quite good to me. There are four ways to shade fur in random and I will show you how to do this in the next few days. And that was everything I want to show you in this tutorial. If you have any questions or if you're fighting with accident because it's mean to you and yes it's mean to everyone then write it down in the comments or contact me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.